uh, I started by getting into Charlie Christian and, sure. um, uh, that, that was kind of my, my inroad into jazz yeah. and studying that a bit. Um, and then I remember getting the, uh, getting the Charlie Parker book of tunes and just going mm-hmm. through and working out the solos and listening, just listening to the way he phrased things and working out every phrase on the banjo to make it feel and sound like what I was hearing on the horn. Mm-hmm. And then um, the more I did it, the more it changed my playing and the more it, it changed my approach to improvisation. I didn't think I was ever going to be a jazz player. You know, I, uh-huh. that was, that wasn't where my heart was. And okay. the funny thing about it was, I remember when I moved to DC, I took a, a lesson uh, with a jazz guitar teacher out there. And he was, he was a friend. He, he was teaching jazz guitar at a place that I was teaching banjo at. And um, so we start the lesson. And I remember we started playing a Charlie, t- Charlie Parker tune back and forth. I was like, yeah, I'm doing all right. This is great. And then he stops in the middle of it and starts laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. He starts laughing because, and I was like, what? (laughs) It's because, I think it was because I didn't quite get it to that level of, like, really having the feel of the music, which I I get. Mm -hmm. I don't agree that he should have stopped the tune and started laughing at me. No, 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 obviously. That was not terrible. (laughs) But it was a sudden realization that, you know, maybe I'm not immersing myself in this stuff as much as I should if I really want to go that extra step. Right, especially Um, for music that's so, you know, technically on a high level as a... Totally. I think what I had learned, I had learned what I needed to from it. I wanted to have a little more freedom within my, um, my improvisation. And, uh, uh-huh. you know, I, like I say, I was never going to be a jazz player, but I think it really, it helped me to be able to listen. Yeah. We were with similar, similar paths and listening to different music. My problem is though, I kept on saying, all right, well, well, maybe I'll try to be, I'll, I'll start playing jazz guitar or I'll, I'll play a tenor banjo or, you right. know, let's, let's just start spreading myself all over as opposed to focusing and doing, I'm going to stick doing it on three fingers. So um, how did that, do you think it affected like the technical ability, your technical, especially your right hand of your playing, especially playing like the Celtic music with all the triplets and everything? Um, you know, whenever I just practice a few Celtic tunes, I know my my single string playing and my articulation seems to be a lot cleaner. Yeah. Oh, certainly. I mean, the attention I, I, I put into making sure triplets, any ornaments, um, just the melodies in general, it helped my playing across the board. Um, I think also the important thing to me was whenever I'd jump from, you know, the Scrug style stuff, uh, let me get this out of, you know what i mean you're digging in you got Mm -hmm. that forward momentum well then the tricky thing for banjo players can be like keeping that that same tone uh and and um momentum when you jump to the other the other Mm -hmm. types of tunes Um, i wonder if there's a thing here that solid tone that you're picking with the bluegrass. 